Letter to Thomas Pennant, Esquire Dear Sir, The parish of Selborne lies in the extreme eastern corner of Hampshire. Letter to the Honourable Danes Barrington Dear Sir, thank you for your kind suggestion that I write a book regarding the flora and fauna of Selborne. The high part of the parish is covered by a long hanging wood called the Hanger. Over many years I have recorded a great many of my observations regarding not only the natural particulars of the parish, but also of its people and their lives. Zigzag, a play for voices, imagery and readings from Alton Fringe Theatre. Among the singularities of this place are its hollow lanes. These roads are, by the traffic of ages and the fretting of water, worn down through the freestone, so that they look more like watercourses than roads. I've missed luncheon. Oh, hardship heaped upon hindrance. I regret I did not get here sooner, Gilbert, but the driver of the post-chaise refused to take the direct road from Alton. He said even now, in mid-July, it was not suitable for his vehicle. Born on the 18th of July, 1720, Gilbert White wrote one of the most celebrated books on natural history in the English language. When I used to rise in the morning and see the swallows and martins clustering on the chimneys and thatch of the neighbouring cottages, I could not help being touched with a secret delight. Why do they call you Busser? And why, Gilbert, do you blush so when I ask you? The natural history of Selborne has remained in print for over 230 years. Zigzag explores the life of the man who wrote it and the book's enduring appeal. Now, Gil, you are an ordained minister. Surely you would wish to fulfil your calling and hold your own parish. It is thought that swallows migrate to the continent of Africa, but I cannot accept that all of them do, for they are often seen in flight above Selborne as late as November. The new path will zigzag its way to the top of the hangar. There can be no other such similar works to your book, Gil. Yours will be unique, for your figures are formed from naked and genuine beauty. You shall immortalise your place of abode.